Well, today on Nation, the Window Cleaners Podcast, we're talking all about what's your plan? Let's make a plan. Let's talk about next year. If you're in business, window cleaning or other, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. This podcast has been going on for five plus years, hundreds and hundreds of shows, hours and hours of content, hundreds of hours of content, actually. Um, Go back and listen. The podcast is anywhere podcasts are. Listen back to every episode while you work. Why not? Keep it in your ear. I'm not saying all of these episodes are good. (laughs) I'm just saying that it's better than just like, you know, listening to Howard Stern. I mean, not for the entertainment value, but at least for the knowledge. It's also available anywhere uh, podcasts are and, of course, on YouTube if you want to have it playing in the background. Do all of that. And uh, by the way, if you're listening or have listened to um, and you want to say what's up, you want to say thank you, you want to uh, kick me back something or, or um, I don't know, show appreciation, whatever you want to do by helping me out, you can let me put your orders in for you. Yes, shameless plug, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. Thousands of you listen every week, and uh, I would love all... Um, you know, 100,000 of you who are listening every week, uh, order through me. That would be absolutely amazing. If you want to, you want to throw me a little uh, cheddar or a little virtual high five, if I say, all you need to do, put everything in your cart at windowcleaner.com. Make sure you're logged in and just text me, 862-312-2026. Yes, the shameless plug does work. And yes, a lot of you uh, start to use me every single week, which is absolutely amazing. It really, really is. Um, throw it all in your cart and then just text me be like yo jersey it's in my cart and i push go on it you cost you nothing extra to have a guy i'm your rep now huh and uh i get some cheddar for it so let me do that that'd be that'd be amazing i would say it's the uh the least you could do but the least you could do is not do that so it's the one step above the least is to let me put your order in but shameless plug number two is I also own American Window Cleaner Magazine. And yes, if you didn't know, there is a magazine dedicated 100% to window cleaners and window cleaning industry. It's called The American Window Cleaner Magazine. And go to awcmag.com. It's a real magazine. It's been out since 1986. It now comes with amazing stickers, if I do say so myself. Awesome pictures, articles, the writers and journalists are amazing. The pictures are awesome. It's all submitted by you guys. By the way, if you ever have awesome pictures, uh, send them. Go to editor at awcmag.com. But go get your subscription. We are um, hitting huge milestones in the magazine. Having a paper magazine uh, from the beginning was a little bit iffy. I love to have it in my hand. I love to actually flip pages. I love to have it, the pictures. There's posters and stickers. And I don't know. I nerd out on the industry. I hope you nerd out on the industry, too. Uh, go get a subscription, awcmag.com. Whew. Shameless plugs all over, I think, for now. But if you're still here, <laughs> uh, I gotta, you know, I gotta like put it out there just so I can get some subscriptions and orders. That's what I do, right? Anyway, so we're talking about what's your plan, right? We're talking about your 2023 if you're watching this uh first week if you're watching this down the road we're talking about next year or the following year and i love this conversation because um unfortunately right now this time of year uh we do see kind of a slowdown start happening uh december slowdown happens january of course and people always send me messages call me whatever and they'll be like hey man i'm like you know doing this ad today and it's like january 12th and you're like wait what what where are you i'm in wisconsin don't do that don't advertise yeah but i'm slow yeah but you're just now going to be slow and have no money you can't advertise when you're slow that's not how advertising works you advertise when you're busy by the way um but people always want to go well okay well what can i do right now you can't 
the time to get work now was six months ago, right? So, okay, sucky. Okay, let's let's figure that out. Maybe you're new. Uh, maybe winter came in early. Maybe something in this winter sucks for you. Uh, I do apologize. That 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 is rough. I had some really 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 hard winters, but let's plan for next year so that we never have this slow down the way it is. We never have a dead winter, right? We never have a year like we did now. By the way, I want to go back. I'm I'm going to start doing shout outs again. And I'm going to give you three shout outs real quick if you're listening. Uh, Daniel uh, Michela, Michella, I, I knew I was going to mess your name up. Uh, Mason McDaniel, of course, the man himself, and Cody Manning. Uh, thank you to you guys uh, for the shout outs uh, on order. So I just start sprinkling those shout outs in too. So, uh, yeah. Um, but on a side note, uh, I was talking with somebody else who um, is in a colder region and talking about kind of that winter has kind of come in a little bit quick and it really got me thinking. I've heard from a couple different people. Um, and it's, it sucks now, but we want to look at next year. Whatever you're listening to this, next year or the next 12 months, let's figure out what that looks like. There's there's a huge problem that people do. Um, and I see it all the time, all across. It's usually none of you. Um, it's people who don't, they're not as involved in window cleaning as they should be. And here's my, you know I'm a nerd in this stuff, right? Yes, I, I actually get the subscription to the magazine, even though I get it, <laughs> obviously, here at my office. It's really to check on, uh, make sure that everything and timing and stuff. Anyway, uh, you know, podcasts and videos and, you know, I'm in this every day, all day long, talking with you guys. Uh, from private coaching to videos to YouTube, if you haven't got my YouTube, go subscribe. Videos are coming out on that. Uh, TikTok, everything. I am in it. I am in it, and I feel like some people just aren't in it, and that's cool, but I hear from people like, oh, it's slow, I'm like, oh, what'd you do this year? Nothing, man, we don't even really have to advertise. Well, you do, you're like, if you get on a ship with no motor, and you're like, all right, it's just going to bring you back to shore, like, eventually, you maybe, with some kind of freak luck, break past the waves, and then you're just sitting in the ocean. The ocean moves you at the pace it wants to move you, in the direction it wants to move you. You don't just go sit on a raft in the middle of the ocean with no oar, no paddle, no motor, no sail, and go, all right, yeah, let's see what happens. That's business. There's a lot of people out there who are in the middle of the ocean on a raft. Stupid analogy of the day. They're in the middle of the ocean, and they're like, okay, let's see where this goes. You know, I don't call my customers. I don't do email blasts. I don't do, you know, um, advertising. I don't do Facebook ads. I don't do any of that stuff. I don't advertise. I don't call people. I wait for people to call me. Okay. If you are to saturation, meaning you are to the point where you don't want any more work, you can still strengthen your company by getting better customers, increasing pricing, so you're not working as much, picking and choosing, shrinking your service area, all of those things. You could still be actively doing this. But a lot of people are just like, eh, eh, eh it was a little slow this year. I was thinking maybe, maybe next year I was going to maybe, I don't know, do a Facebook ad or something. Uh, you own a business. Don't have your business own you. You run the show. Now, I'm going to tell you, it's like herding cats. You can do things to help, but you're still not really. I mean, there's certain points that when you're in a rough, rough ocean and you have a paddle, yeah, you're kind of helping it go one way, but the ocean still is telling you where you're going, right? That's business. Obviously, we can't plan this down to a T and make everything happen without a lot of work and a lot of pushing ourselves to do this, right? So here's a big thing. What is your goal for next year? And this is, I'm just talking to you. I'm right now, it's just me and you talking. What's your goal for next year? What's your end 
of the year goal. When I record this, it's November already, geez. And we're talking 2023. By December 31st of 2023, what is your goal? Now, I could say that to you right now, and you come up with an answer. You came up with an answer. It may have been, well, better than this year. <laughs> it may have been, I want to hit a million dollars. I want to double my company. I want to blah, blah, blah. I want to blah, 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 blah. Cool, but you have a plan. A plan without actual planning is a dream. So right now you're in the dream phase. I dream to have a company double. I dream to have more customers. I dream to get more big jobs. I dream to land that big contract. Okay, sweet. That is step one. Make your plan, your goal, your dream. What is it? Now, here's a really, really interesting thing. In anything in life, we get to dictate what we do. And if you're calling BS on that, let me explain everything. There are accidents in this life, that can be a negative thing. If you don't put yourself in the position the accident can happen, the chances are even better the accident won't, right? If you don't drive drunk, you won't get a DUI, right? If you go out drinking and you don't even have your keys, if you have uh, even a sip of alcohol and you don't drive, you're not getting a DUI, right? If you have anything to drink, you take an Uber, that's your hard, fast rule, right? And I'm not, this is not that, I'm not talking really about that metaphorically, right? If you remove yourself from that, you can make your own future. If you get super shwasted and you go drive and you're a really good driver when you're drunk and you make it all the way home and you're like, yeah, see, I drove drunk and I didn't get busted. I don't make my destiny. I tried to get pulled over for a DUI. Yeah, well, if it didn't happen, and you didn't try, but the likelihood it could have happened is a lot higher than if you weren't drinking at all, right? That's business, right? Business, you want to put yourself in a position that things happen, but that's just for the realm. You want to make things happen. Now, if next year your goal is to be double the company you are now, Awesome. Is it attainable? Absolutely. Absolutely. I completely think that if that's your goal in any market in the country, in any company, absolutely obtainable. Absolutely attainable. But the bigger the plan, the bigger the dream, the bigger the goal, the more you have to work at it. If you did $12,000 last year, high five. Like, that's awesome. You're in it, right? You're doing this. If you want to make $24,000 next year, simple, simple. There's companies doing that in one week, right? That is simple. Getting there is where it is. But if you're doing a million this year and you want to do two million next year, uh, that's a big goal. If that's your goal, it's totally doable, but you got to work really, really, really hard, and you have to put a lot of assets into that. Again, we're reinvesting kind of in ourselves, right? But let's figure out our plan to meet the goal. People always, 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 this is 99% of the time, people will say, well, here's my, 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 my plan next year. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do double. Sweet. What are you going to do? <laughs> just like, man, I'm just going to work harder. And, you know, like, I think it's, you know, it's really, we're starting to, you have no goal. You're saying, I hope the ocean takes me to the island over there. I hope. I hope. I hope. But if you have a dream and you want to make it happen, you need to plan for it. When we talk systems, we talk... um uh, planning, uh, scheduling, marketing calendars, all that stuff, people start to like, you know, uh, that stuff sucks. It's boring. I know it's boring. You know it's boring. But it's absolutely necessary if we want to direct a raft, right? If I say, I want to take this raft 
I don't want to go over to that island. The rough, the seas are rough, right? The this and this and this. I can't put a little motor on there, right? I'm not planning for that. I can't get over there in time. So I need to put more. I got to buy a bigger engine. I got to, right? So depending on what your goal is, you're matching all of that, right? Knowing what your dream is, you can then plan for it. If you want to do another $100,000 next year, what's your average ticket? Your average ticket, say $300. If it's $300, then how many new customers does that take? Right? If your average ticket is $300 and you're not doing the dentist close, how many customers do you need to have repeat to do that? Okay? So now we have X amount of customers we need to get to get another $100,000. How many do I get every single week? Now, week one in January is going to be a lot less than, you know, the uh, second week of May, right? So now we have to look at all of our numbers and what we get in busy time and calculate that. So second week of May, it may be, you know, 20 new customers, but the first week of January may be one. And then we need to track that to adjust that. Math is, I hate math. I'm such an idiot in math, but math doesn't lie. If you have one item and you have one more item, it is always two items. If you have one plus one is always two. If you need $100,000 of work, there's no way to lie. You either have $100,000 of new work or you don't. And where this comes in, is that if I need to make $100,000, $2,000 of new work a week, and I get to the first week of February, and I didn't get any new work, I cannot lie to myself and say, well, I still need $2,000. Like, I'll get, you can't. That does not add up. Now we take all of that and refigure that in every single week to see where we are and what we need, and it changes every day every day every week it changes based on the last bit now if i need two thousand dollars in new work and i got forty thousand dollars in new work last week guess what that changes everything if i want to get to my goal it drops the numbers i need to get the rest of the time you cannot lie math if your goal is math which it always is if you say, I want to be bigger, that's a dream. There's no plan. You can't get bigger means you have one more customer than you did last year. It's always math. I want X amount more money. I want X amount more customers. I want to get into this new service and do X amount of work with it. Right? You can add all of that. And once you have numbers, you can then calculate that down 52 weeks a year to get to that. If it's customers, I want 100 new customers next year, 52 weeks. I need two customers every single week for the next year, two new customers. Now, if I think that right now, and I go, wow, that's cool. And then June, I go look at it and go, where am I at? Well, you're way past that point, right? I want to know I need two customers every single week. And at week two, did I get it or did I not? Now it goes up. If I did, if I didn't, I know all that, right? Make a goal, a goal's a dream, until you have a plan. Once you have your dream and a plan, it becomes a goal. You can achieve a goal, right? There is a hard, fast, yes, no. Did you achieve, did you not achieve, right? We have to plan it out though. If you have a big plan, I, I, I get it all the time from so many people who are just like, oh yeah, next year, man, that's gonna be great. What, what, what's your, uh, I'm going to be bigger. Or the uh, million dollars, you've heard this a thousand times. You've heard a thousand times. Ah, oh, man, by, in like five years, I want to be a million dollar company. Sweet. How are you going to get there? Just like give the best service, man. I'm going to clean the best window. Mmm, neat. Uh, so you don't know what that looks like. I deal with a lot of million dollar companies. A lot. And I have companies who are literally going to hit a million dollars for the first time. I have companies who have doubled in 12 months. They've increased by $500,000. 
I've had companies who have increased 100,000, 250,000. I've had those companies. And being able to see the inside of that, uh, what that takes, is mind-blowing. Because what people don't understand is that when they throw it out there, I want to be a million-dollar company. I think I'll need X amount of employees, you know, but, but no one really says, okay, what does each truck produce? Right? Right now, if I said, if you're doing a million dollars now, this is uh, cheating, so don't do it <laughs> for everybody else. But if you want to hit a million dollars, how many trucks do you need on the road? If you want to do a million dollars in a year, how many trucks is that? I guarantee that a lot of you just put out a number. Uh, it's 10 trucks. Just a general number. Sexy numbers. 10, a million, 100,000. But what is that number? Let's do some quick math. Say you're doing $85 an hour. Man hour, right? So there is two of you in a truck. Meaning you're producing $170 every single hour per truck. Right? So you have 170 and he times that times 40, 40 hours a week. And he times that times 52. That means one truck working at its optimal efficiency, meaning it never takes breaks. It never takes holiday. It never breaks down. It never has slow times. It is always producing perfect at a number that we know we don't always make. That's going to make $353,600 for that. Now, when you do that, and you put that together and you find out, okay, well, I need to multiply that times three. I need three trucks. I can hit a million dollars. Okay, three trucks running 40 hours a week, every week. No rain days, no holidays, no vacation, no slowdowns, no winter, no typhoon season or hurricanes. You need three trucks. That's six guys. That could produce a gross of a million. But when you really break that down, think about that. Who's doing $85 an hour for 40 hours in January in Wisconsin? No one. Okay, calculate everything up. Now we're not making that money in January, February, maybe March. Now we need more trucks. Well, now we have less time. We have the fall and we have the winter that we're really not doing as much. So now i got to increase trucks. Well, maybe now I'm at six trucks. Each having two guys is 12 employees to hit a million. That's with vacations, rain days, everything else, right? I'm doubling that. Well, okay, if that makes sense, then with six trucks, in theory, you could make a million dollars. And that could possibly be spot on. Again, $85. Now we're all that. I say all this because now you're talking, you actually broke down the numbers. You said 10 trucks. It could be six. It could be three to hit a million dollars. But now if there is six trucks and there is 12 guys, how many employees do you have right now? How many employees do you have right now? How much did you make this year? Right now your efficiencies of your company, if you have two guys and you did $100,000, that means that each guy produced $50,000. Run the numbers on that. See, things change. When you really work numbers, your dream becomes a goal because goals can be achieved. You can score a goal. You can achieve a goal. You can just happen upon a dream, right? So all of this stuff put together, it all comes back down to what is attainable. What is attainable? How is it attainable? How do you get there? If you want to do an increase of $500,000 this year. You can do that. But understand that that's going to take hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of advertising, structural, engineering, all that stuff to build this company up. If you do a million dollars at six trucks, 12 guys, you need to have office staff. You probably also need to have a salesperson. Now those 12 guys turned into 14. What does this look like, right? Is it attainable? If it is, then how is it attainable? Scheduling it down allows you to see how to get to that point. 
if by the end of next year you need to have six guys producing to make the million dollars, they have to be producing flawlessly. Well, if it is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, you have to have six trucks rolling starting January 1 to make that whole month. If you're just adding trucks and getting there, now say that truck only has six months. If you're trying to hit that goal, and the truck's only six months on the road because you just got it, you just brought the crew on, it's June. Now, what does that look like? What does that truck have to produce? Now that truck has to produce literally 80 hours a week, 160 man hours, to produce the same amount that the other truck that was running all, all year, right? So we have to really break that down. When you see all that, it makes sense. Because you can achieve that if you're watching small goals. That's where marketing calendars come in, which I'm not going to talk about, but there's a ton of episodes on that. The marketing calendar keeps you on no matter what's going on in your life. Marketing calendar allows you to make sure that marketing's happening. You have to be getting X amount for the marketing or you have to increase your marketing. If you're not getting those new jobs, you need to increase them. I have a dude that I've worked with for a long, long time, one of the most amazing companies that I've, I've ever dealt with. And he's into Facebook ads. And he's killing, killing it on Facebook ads. Killing it. The Facebook ads coming in with changes accounts for dozens of new customers. Okay, that is an awesome, awesome way to get stuff in. What does that look like to achieve your goal for the next year? Are you on par? Do you need to find something else? Do you need to put more money or less money to that? You have to figure out what that looks like numbers wise, taking averages to understand and then understanding what it looks like to be able to get that. You need X amount of customers per day to get to that goal. Understand what you need to get and track it. The biggest thing too that I see a lot of people do is especially January, like all the views on this podcast, all the content I put out, I put out year round, daily. I have content going out. And all of the views increase in the winter because people aren't out in the field. They're getting their minds back into it. Ah. January, February, people are on fire. They're so excited. Take the world by the horns, man. But then what happens come March or April? They start getting tired. You have to be hard fast. If you have a goal you're going to achieve, it is only up to you. You could do the goal or not do the goal. The problem with a goal and a weak mind, which every human in the world has a weak mind. Some are stronger than others. But as if I say I have a goal, right? I have a goal that I'm not... Getting back to drinking, we'll say. Or heroin or whatever. If I say, I'm not going to do crack anymore. Okay? Awesome goal. <laughs> for at least a really good goal. But if I'm not going to do crack, then I need to decide every single day not to do crack. Because the time and the place and the position and the day and my mood and everything else... It's going to be really, really hard some days versus other days. I may wake up and not want crack at all. <laughs> it's getting so far off. But then there's other days that I'm going to want to crack from when I wake up, right? So some days are harder than others, but you have to stay hard fast. That's goals. There's days you're tired. There's days you're not. There's days you're exhausted. There's days you want to do something else. But you cannot let yourself... Lose sight of those goals. If you're not hard, fast, no one will be for you. You either win or lose, and you are the only person who is in control of that. Don't tell me it's the economy. If the economy sucks, figure out a way to pivot. Figure out what's working. Split test harder. Spend more on advertising. Other things can change what you have to do to get to your goal. Right? You could be on the flattest sea ever. It's easy to paddle. You could be in the biggest sea ever. Hard to paddle, but you could still move in it. Right? So whatever you can do, you have to. 
Stay hard, fast. Make sure you achieve the goals. It's up to you to achieve them. But either way, if you got goals, set them aside. Change a dream into goals by making the plan and plan it. I'm telling you, take this winter and do that. It will change your world to look that much into it. Change your world. It doesn't happen overnight, but it will. But anyway, so much talking about crack. <laughs> anyway, if you haven't yet, use me as your rep. I want you to do that. It is the most awesome and amazing thing when somebody can put it on, or when I get to put their order in for them. I get money and it costs you nothing extra. That's how I make my cheddar for my brand name, you know, hair gel, as everybody points out. Which is paste, not gel, right? And if you want to make my day, if you want to be my absolute favorite person ever, you probably are already, but if you want to be, let me put your order in. 862-312-2026. Text me, call me, email me, smoke signals. But text me is usually better than smoke signals. Text me, let me put your order in. It would mean the world to me, and I get cheddar for it. Speaking of getting cheddar... American Window Cleaner Magazine. It is awesome. It is absolutely amazing. And I would love nothing more than for you to have a subscription. So get a subscription. Actually, if you're watching this, there's a link somewhere for even a free 30-day trial on it. Get some free stickers. Get it all. Be absolutely amazing. Get the magazine, awcmag.com. Get the magazine. Do me a favor. I see your name pop up every time you subscribe, so it's amazing. Amazing. Anyway, until next week, go out there, get a goal, make it a plan to get into it, and yeah, other than that, be awesome. Oh, wait, actually, be epic. <laughs>